demonstration you can do with a Tesla coil and some fluorescent tubes. So if I turn this on, as well as grabbing a fluorescent tube and may the net force be with you. Standard warning, you are responsible for you. Be careful now. Okay, how to perform these demonstrations using the Tesla coil. First of all, with the Tesla coil, some of these don't really have on and off switches. So you, it just really has a more and a less at the bottom. So as long as you stay away from the end here, the metal, in this connection here, you're perfectly fine. I would grip up here. You have to practice that. Make sure you get a good, strong grip. And when you turn it on, it will make a noise. Sometimes that noise scares people, but don't let go of this. Don't grab it like this. Just stay up here with that tip as much as you can. So leave a gap right there. Next thing is with the fluorescent tube. You can take the Tesla coil and just touch it to the end of the tube and just have the other end ground out to the air. It'll light up pretty bright. So you can just do that if you want. Or sometimes people use a, a Van der Graaff generator or one of those plasma spheres to do the same thing. Uh, either one's fine, but if you use the Tesla coil, you can actually charge yourself up like what I did in the video. Make sure the student doesn't have a smartwatch or a cell phone on them. And have a student hold on to the other end. Make sure they don't hold on to near the metal because it will give them a little shock. It won't hurt them, but it might scare them and they might drop the tube. So have them hold up here and then you can grab onto the other end and you'll light up the tube. You can actually even run your hand up and down the tube and the brightness of the tube will actually follow your hand. Okay. So that's a pretty neat demonstration. Then you can take it from them. The bulb won't stay bright. It'll dim just a little bit because you're using the air as the ground, but it will still stay bright enough in a dark room for you to make the bad Star Wars joke. And then you can have them grab onto it again. Make sure you ask them, do you got it? Before you let go so they don't drop it again because we don't want to drop this. And then you can use that same student or maybe a different student to use the uh, decorative bulb on that I'll get to in the second part of this video here in just a second. The other thing is I wore this over my head and I have a separate video showing you how to build one of these that I'll link in the description or I'll link to the uh, cards on the end of this video. But it's pretty easy to build. You can do it in just 10-15 minutes. Uh, we're just going to solder this wire onto two of the leads and have the two le other leads near you and then a grounding wire going to the ground. But you just put this over your head. About half the ring will be lit up as it was in my introduction. But again, there's a separate video on how to build one of those. The last one is to take one of these tungsten light bulbs and you can actually put the Tesla coil, have a student hold it, you put the Tesla coil near this end and it will light up just like one of those plasma spheres. And students can actually move their fingers around and the electricity will follow their finger. They're perfectly safe, they won't feel anything. Uh, may feel a little vibration just from the, the electricity or something like that, but they won't feel a thing on any of these, so they're perfectly fine. As long as they're not touching any metal, don't let them get their fingers up here, that's a bad plan. But if they stay down here, then uh, you'll get those kind of purple lines of electricity, just like on a plasma sphere, okay? And the next part of the video talks about that, and I'll demonstrate how to do it, so hold on. Another demonstration you can do is with a Tesla coil is get an old tungsten large decorative bulb. You can probably still find some of these because they're probably still out there. They haven't been replaced by LEDs just yet completely. But you can use this with a Tesla coil to basically create one of those plasma bubbles. Let me hit the lights and I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So you basically create one of those little plasma bubbles or plasma spheres. Plasma bubbles. That's what you're doing. Thank you. 
remember, be very careful. Don't get in near any metal. Don't let students near you when you've got a hold of this and you're charged up. But uh, enjoy some electricity demonstrations. Remember, be safe. And don't try these demonstrations for the first time in front of students. Do it first on your own. Make sure everything's going to go good. All right. Thank you for watching and uh, be careful and safe. Bye.